I'm Kate Chaplinski for the HAN Network here with our election 2017 candidate conversations. And I'm in New Canaan today at Waveney Park and I'm joined by Kit Devereaux, who's a Democrat running for first selectman in New Canaan. Kit, so happy to have you. Thank you very much. It's wonderful to be here. Now you have many years serving New Canaan. You've been on the Board of Finance, Town Council, Charter Revision Commission, currently on the Parks and Recreation Commission. Now we have to say in history that we know of, there's never been a Democrat elected to first selectman in New Canaan. What inspired you to run this year and go for it? Well, there's never been <laughs> there's never been a Democratic first selectman um, because I really would love to have the job, and I think I have some special skills to bring to it. And believe me, if a Democrat were elected to be first selectman, the supermarkets would still open, and the <laughs> the buses would still run to schools, and nothing would stop it would just be fine yeah and it could be an uphill battle in some ways Are you ready for that have you been uh ready for it oh heavens yes 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 and now some of the big issues uh that have been talked around around town one of them is cell service yes where to put cell towers improving you know dead spots and you and your in your opponent differ a bit on this issue what's your stance on improving cell service right now how would you do it if elected well i think that what we need to do is decide in conjunction with the Utilities Commission what we need to give townwide cell service. I think the schools have to be off the table, mm. but um, that we, you know, there's just like never going to be a perfect site. Right. So I think what we need to do is find the best sites um, with a combination of technologies, including DOS, and then move forward. And if a property value was unduly um, and quantifiably impacted by a cell tower, then I think it would be appropriate for the town to look at some kind of tax concession to help with that. Yeah. And now moving on to another issue, always a big one for municipalities, that's budgeting, taxes. What's your take, what's your approach to budgeting should you be elected for selectman? Well, uh, I am a big fan of zero-based budgeting. And that is where you st all the department managers start from zero and build their budgets. And so basically everything in the budget has to be approved um, every year and not just assumed. Uh, I also uh, think that if we were to make more efficient the mid-budget request cycle, mm. that then budget managers would have less need to build in safety margins um, I think that we should be reassessing all of our fees, our user fees, our permitting fees, our rentals, everything, and look for income where we can get it. Some of these fees are already fully priced, but I still think that there is a real income to find from that. But I, th I think that we need to also look at if we can get the same kind of savings by using renewable energy that the town of Fairfield has realized, because they are realizing more than $2.4 million per year with their renewable energy program, and the investment was minimal. So if it would work here, it's something we need to look at, because we need to look at every possible way to help offset the liabilities that are likely coming down the pike. Right. And I should say, you do have a professional background in finances. And staying on the topic of finances, uh, New Canaan has had some material weaknesses in its system of financial controls. What would you do to change that? Well, I think it's been changed. Yeah. <laughs> we have a new interim uh, CFO, and also um, I, we have now an audit committee and well, we had one then, but they were busy making sure we didn't have material weaknesses. So I think the system has been adjusted. I would be very surprised if we didn't go forward mm. with balanced accounts and probably no material weaknesses. Yeah, and you know, the New Canaan Advertiser had an interesting story the other day saying freedom of information requests are at a 10 year high. What does that tell you? Does it tell you anything important? Well, <laughs> it seems to me, although a lot of the uh, FOIA requests are legitimate, mm. There's also um, a segment of the population that is using it as a weapon. And I think that it would be very good if there's some way we could work to rationalize that process because it's taking a tremendous amount of time for our, our town administrator, who is a highly skilled person that needs to be working for the town and not working to fulfill FOIA requests. 
Uh, another important issue in town, commuter parking. Ah, uh, yes. What is your take? How do we solve the problem? How do we get more parking in New Canaan for commuters? Okay. Well, I, I do agree that we need more parking for commuters. I know my opponent feels right off the block, let's go deck the lumber yard. And that might be the right solution. But this has come up a couple of times and been defeated in the past for good reasons. So I think what we need to do is just slow down a minute we have the studies, quickly analyze them, make the decisions, and then decide what to do. Because we also have a problem with 351 people that park there on a daily basis. Mm. And we also need to carefully plan for the idea that there's going to be 700 commuters in and out of the parking lots when the trains come in, not 351 like there are today. And that's a real bottleneck situation. So other than the issues we've discussed, what's something that you would address when you get elected into office, if you get elected? Well, I would really like to look closely into transparency in a real way and also civility. So in terms of transparency, what I feel is that we really can do the people's business in front of the people. When um, I chaired the Lakeview Avenue Bridge Committee and we did our work including the entire decision-making process in front of the public, in front of TV cameras, and we came out with a good uh, product. So I think it can be done. Mm -hmm. In terms of civility, I think we just need to take a step back and understand that we can have differing opinions. We can almost say anything we want. It's how you say it. And that if you offer a differing opinion, to do it respectfully and courteously. Because I think that um, civility is actually an important part of the quality of life. And I care a lot about our quality of life. Now, you've called yourself a consensus builder. What does that mean? Well, that means that you reach out, understand what is the opinion of either the room full of people or the town full of people, and get to understand what the majority is embracing, what do they want? Because I think that it is a, um, an elected official's duty to be a public servant, not to, for instance, jam through what they believe, but to reach out and find out what the community wants and embrace that and bring it in. All right. Well, Kit Devereaux, a Democrat running for first selectman here in New Canaan, thank you so much for talking with us today. Oh, my pleasure. Thank All you. Right. Thank you thank for you. the opportunity. All right. We're going to wrap things up here on this candidate conversation. We'll see you next time.